The Macon County Fair gets underway this Friday. As always, there will be plenty of fun for all ages. And as you're about to see, country music fans will be in for a special treat on Monday night. As I lay in bed and watch you sleep, I can feel your heart beating next to me. And I wonder where it all went wrong. Caden Gillard is no stranger to a microphone. The up and coming country music artist and his band have already produced several videos. But he hasn't always made music his first choice. That's right, Caden also likes to ride bulls. However, his bull riding career had to take a step back after a scary medical diagnosis. My dad rode bulls, and, um, and so when you grow up, you just want to be like your dad. And probably about four years old, I was getting on sheep, and you know, I rode calves and stuff. And then the older I got, the I, I don't want to say the less interested I got, but I, I just got interested in other things. You know, I skateboarded and, and kind of did that whole thing. And, and then uh, in 2009, I was diagnosed with leukemia. And, um, and that's where I started learning how to play guitar. I always loved to sing, but I, I wasn't always a good singer. And uh, so in, in the hospital, I learned how to play guitar and things and found my love for songwriting. But during that time, there was always an hour during the day where I got unhooked uh, from my IV. And I would walk around the floor uh, and just kind of stretch my legs and get out of the room and stuff. And there was always a picture on the wall of a guy riding a bull that said seven months after bone marrow transplant. And, um, and I told my mom, that's going to be me. That's going to be me. And, you know, mom said, no, baby, don't say that. Don't say that. And so, uh, sure enough, yeah, uh, you know, I, I, I got released and started going to high school and things and, and I got released to ride bulls. And so I rode my senior year in high school. And then once I got out of high school, I always played my guitar throughout, you know, that whole journey. And um, I started writing songs about what I knew. Today, Caden is in complete remission and cancer free. He's also not riding bulls anymore. In 2016, I rode in the Pro Rodeo in Crosby, Texas, and we stayed to watch the band play after, which was Whiskey Myers at the time. And then after that, we, uh, we went back to the cowboy camp where they serve food, and, and I was just playing my guitar for everybody, and I had this guy walk up and he said, you're pretty good, you know who I am? I said, no, sir. He said, uh, I'm the director of this whole rodeo. I said, awesome, well, I'm Caden, nice to meet you. And he said, uh, how would you like to open for Cody Johnson tomorrow night? I said, well, that'd be a dream come true. I said, I'm a big Cody Johnson fan. And at this time, I hadn't played any, any like, gigs or anything like that, no venues. And, um, and he said, okay, show up for sound check tomorrow at 2 o'clock. I said, you're serious? He said, if you show up for sound check, you, I am. I said, well, I'll be there. I didn't even have a guitar that plugged in at the time. <laughs> and, I, and my first show ever in front of almost 4,000 people. I had, I had a SM58 microphone and an SM57 pointed at my 12th fret on my guitar, and I opened for Cody Johnson in front of almost 4,000 people. First show ever, it was all downhill from there. That depends on who you ask. His music career has taken off, but the Louisiana native knew he had to make a move that would be tough for his family. I'd been writing songs for, for a while. I wanted to be a songwriter as well. And, you know, it, it just kind of came to a crossroads where, you know, if you're going to be a songwriter, you got to be in the songwriting capital of the world, you know. So uh, we started looking for, for houses. And, and it, two years ago, I guess 22, uh, we, we decided to make the move. We found a, found a house here in, in Lafayette. And, uh, we've been just been a part of the community ever since. Yes, Caden, his wife and two sons now call Macon County home. 
close enough to Nashville to attend songwriting sessions, but far enough away to enjoy the peace and serenity of country living. We still miss Louisiana, parts of Louisiana, um, you know, because we, we just, we love the culture. It's got, it's got so much culture, um, you know, we miss home cooked food, you know, my, my mom, my mom cooked real well. And so we miss, we miss our family and things like that. But I mean, since being here, we've, we've really been welcomed with open arms. So, I mean, it, it's really helped the transition be, become much easier. Now, in just a few short days, Caden and his band will play in front of a few thousand fans Monday night at 8 at the Macon County Fairgrounds. This is actually my first uh, I guess local show I've played in I've played in Hartsville uh, at the Cove a couple times, but that's just acoustic. So we are so excited to be able to put on a, a performance with a full band and 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 give you all the high energy uh, set that that we we love to do. Caden and his family moved to Lafayette two years ago. He says he's excited to get to meet even more Macon Countyans on Monday. You can't miss him. He's the guy singing with the handlebar mustache. My all-time favorite movie is Tombstone, and I've always wanted a Doc Holliday mustache. And, um, and I mean, honestly, I, I've been through many different stages. I had a clean-shaven face. I had the chin strap. Um, I had uh, a full beard, you know, and, and I've always wanted a mustache, but it never... It never grew in thick enough, in my opinion. And uh, after, after talking to a few of my friends that have them, uh, their, <laughs> their advice is you literally just can't cut it. It's going to go through awkward stages, and you just have to let it grow to, until it gets to a point where it looks good. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I had my beard for a while, and I, let, I, I just let my mustache grow, and I trimmed my beard up, and then... You know, once it finally got to a point where I could, I could curl it and get the handlebars going, uh, I just went cold turkey. I shaved, shaved my beard, and uh, my wife ended up liking it. Thank God. And uh, <laughs> I, I joke with my wife all the time. I say it's the best, best decision I've ever made as far as my music career goes because now I'm the guy with the mustache. Exactly. That's the first thing people notice, and so now I'm memorable when I meet someone. As for the future, Caden has big plans. I have a few bucket list venues that I would like to play. Obviously, I want, I want my music to touch people. Um, and, and to move people and make them feel something. And so my, my biggest dream is just to be able to do this full time for, you know, for, for my career is just, you know, I'm, I'm looking for longevity. I'm not looking for a flash in the pan career. Um, but I would love to play a few venues, which is the Opry, the Ryman, Billy Bob's Texas, and um, Red Rocks. Um, Red Rocks is, is just one of those venues that it's so magical. So other than that, you know, I just want to be a good, uh, a good husband and father. And, and that's outside of music. That's, that's really the goal. That's the dream right there. Here's betting he'll succeed. Reporting from Lafayette, Barry Hyatt, NCTV. It was no surprise, the most gorgeous thing I'd ever seen.